Hey guys, this is the Dark Preacher, and welcome back to Revelation. So, I am just taking a moment to upgrade some of my flux ducts here. And hopefully everything is going to work out fine, and I don't need to go back and make more. <laughs> so, um... The reason why this is a day late is because yesterday we received some very unfortunate news. Um, my wife's work has decided in all their wondrous wisdom that because uh, work is going so well and their service levels are so high that overtime is no longer needed. Well, the reason why overtime is no longer needed and the service levels are so high <laughs> is because they had overtime in the first place. Which means uh, income coming into my home is going to go down. Which means less money to spend on things like groceries and bills and pet food and utilities so here we go um, I have completely forgotten what I was doing where was I where was I where was I going with this did I get all this over here I think I did. But yeah, I did. Uh, that is no longer connected to this over here. Um, like I was saying, finally remembered. Uh, things are going to get a lot tighter around here because, like I said, income coming in is going to go down. Now, as some of you know, I have PTSD, threat, and it keeps me from going out and working a normal job, like, you know, normal, healthy people. So this, that, hmm, stupid ring, this is my job. I get videos for you guys. And when I have an off day like I had the other day, videos don't get made. And the reason why the video didn't get made is because, well, I had an off day. And it was all because I was stressed out worrying about bills. There we go. So. The only thing I'm asking is go to Twitter. Uh, the tweet has been shared multiple times by multiple people, including Vagram. Thank you, Vagram. Um, and basically, it's just explaining the situation. It's a blog post of mine on my website. Um, explains the situation and asks that you just simply share the link if you can and if you can do more than just share the link then do that as well you can become a patron you can what the okay that was weird uh, you can donate to me directly you can uh, buy merchandise at the shop uh, at shop.vagram.com uh, anything that has my logo on it on that shop uh, a portion of the sales go to me so uh, you can get socks you can get t-shirts you can get a poster mug uh, I'm working on a design for a hat. 
but it's going to take a bit for me to figure out how to do that. Um, okay, so you might have noticed this as well. Uh, it doesn't take any power, thank God. But this is a flux controller from Flux Networks. And I've got it set to ignore limit. It's my network. Um, got one plug, two points. The plug is right there. Also hooked to the network. Um, <clears throat> and the points. One is over here. In this corner over here, I do believe. Yep, there it is. Flux point. Ignore limit true. There we go. And let's just put this dirt back. There we go. Uh, I got my bees going. Still. Uh, the DNA extractor I I made off camera. Uh, the genetic replicator is starting to get filled with uh, liquid DNA, which I just take drones I'm not using and run them through there. Uh, let's see, a drone that I don't need, a stack of drones I don't need or something. I already got these ones, so these ones will work. So I just bring the drones over here and toss them in the hopper. And as this thing runs, right now we're at 3,400 liquid DNA. Now we're at 35. And it's 100 millibuckets per drone. So another thing you might have noticed is big ugly box. Uh, let's turn it off. Big ugly box. Looks like a mob spawner, doesn't it? It's because it is. It is a box with a blaze spawner in it. I just come over here and AFK for a bit, and I wait for them to build up, and I kill them all. So uh, I made that off camera as well. Put that away, that away, that away. Let's go put these back where they belong. I don't need to re up those bees. We've got my lead bees over here. Although she doesn't produce much and her lifespan's kind of short. Yeah. Okay, I got a student drone, a PhD drone, and a student princess. That looks like it needs to go into something else. And got a question last time about the lumber bees. Sky obstructed. What? Oh. There we go. There we go. That's happy bees. Uh, they produce uh, bark bits. Uh, it's nighttime. Hang on. Let me go sleep real quick. Oh. Come on. That doesn't take that long to sleep. Come on. Come on. There we go. What's that? But like I said, uh, they produce these bark bits from all the trees that's in their range. Like, I've been getting spruce bits, and oak bits, and birch bits. Now I'm getting jungle, I think. If they'll produce something for me here, come on. Hmm. Oh, that's going to be a bit. Uh, actually. Bark. Yeah, see? Tree bark, birch wood. Uh, oak wood, 
spruce wood. I moved my jungle tree over here. Uh, yeah. These things are still growing. These things are still here. This is all fully grown and not harvested for a while. I need to do something about that. I'm kind of getting sick of bread. Uh, let's see. So, what I might do is set up a way to harvest all this stuff. Plus, I think I need to go get that rustic bee out of over here and make some apiaries. Yep, rustic bees. Because the great thing about rustic bees is they speed up growth. Uh, I need apiary. I need this one. There we go. One apiary. And we will pop that. Place that. Put the bee in there. Let the bee go to work. And while we're doing that, I think... Whoop. Not there. Here. Industrial for going. Okay, hang on. Foregoing. There we go. Industrial foregoing is in this pack. So, I'm going to set up a uh, plant sower and a plant gatherer and a sludge refiner. But first, I need... Where is it? make these things look all the same. I need... Huh. Where in the world is it? Wrong place. Tree fluid extractor. There we go. I need one of these. And one of these. Oh, I need a furnace. How do I not have a furnace? There it is. Alright. Oh, I don't have any cobble in there. What? How is that possible? Oh, Lord. Who said that was a good idea? Alright, give me that. Put uh, that there. Okay. Tree fluid extractor. Fluid extractor. Okay. And then I need a placer. Uh, I could do an auto placer. Or I could do a block placer. Super placer. Oh, it looks like gadgetry is uh, updated some. I need a steel ingot. Well then. Uh, thermal foundation, industrial craft, immersive engineering, nuclear craft, extreme reactors. Ah. Mm. That's not what I wanted. Come on. And. That. Oh, there we are. Iron, coal, two gunpowder. Okay. Iron. And some coal. And gunpowder. Uh, actually. <laughs> Go. And 
that, that, no, that, that, and then, yeah, sure, why not, use a cold coke. Make a steel, make a block placer. I gotta see how this thing works. Cause that seems pretty, pretty cheap for one machine. I'm not even sure if it's machine or not. So, let's go pop this thing outside and see if it crashes me. Nope, doesn't crash me. Okay. Uh, eh? Oh. Oh! It places above it! That's neat! Okay. Okay. I can work with that. I can work with that. Okay. Uh, I need a block breaker then. Uh, what's a super breaker do? Analog circuit, silicon. Oh, that's just glass and an alloy smoke. Wow. That's pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap, too. Okay. Ooh, let's make these. Iron. Need. Let's get two iron. Um, four coal. Four gunpowder. Mm, you know what? We'll just take all that coal coke and use it up. Why not? That, that, no. That, that, that. Put that in there. Uh, do I have any glass? I do. Get a piece of glass. A steel. That takes an iron pickaxe. Another piece of steel. A piece of glass. Thank you very much. And then one pickaxe, one block breaker, uh, that I'm going to need the silicon, there we go, uh, this, that, that, one piece of silicon, uh, let's change that for that. Okay, let's see what the super breaker does. Alright, let's take this out back, just in case. Ooh, this needs power. Um, does it do uh, above it? Okay, probably does above it. Let's let's take this over someplace there. Get in there. Um, where did it? There it is. That. Uh, are you not getting power? You are not getting power. Why are you not getting power? Let's put you here. Nope. I don't get it. It's not getting power. Alright, I guess I'll be better off going with a uh, normal breaker then. What am I doing? One of those. One of these. And we'll just put that back in the system for now. And will you... But you will! You will place at different angles. Good, good, good. I don't know if a redstone control will work with you, but... Uh, we'll find out. 
Actually, I'm going to do a little experimenting with this thing off camera. So, uh, I will see you guys in just a second. So, I'm going to see if this thing actually works with redstone or if I need to make something more complicated. So, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. And, I've got this little setup over here because, well, this is where the most room is. Um, got a timer from Dark Utilities. Running to some redstone. This thing is set to 200 ticks. This is at 4 ticks, so this goes off every 204 ticks. I have an auto breaker from Actually Additions. Redstone mode is Pulse. The tree fluid extractor is doing its job. Going over to the latex processing unit, which is getting water from a sink. And the block placer, well, you can see how fast that thing goes. And it has an internal inventory. So does the auto breaker. So as soon as it breaks a log, it goes in here and is immediately pulled out and put back in here. Now I've got the extra press of a stack of logs in there just in case. But this and that can close back up. And this it's just going to keep making tiny dry rubber for as long as I need it to. Once it's done doing that, this will fill up with latex and tiny dry rubber, and this will fill up with latex and stop running. So, as soon as I need tiny dry rubber to turn into regular rubber to turn into plastic this thing will start back up again so that means industrial foregoing is going to get started but I also checked the time and we are at an episode <sighs> which I didn't really get all that much done but that's to be expected especially when I am sitting there stressing out about things and I have to record this and put it out a day late so um, in the description down below if you don't feel like looking for the tweet I am going to have a link to the blog post with the full explanation of what's going on it has links you can go to those links if you want to or you can pass it along but seriously, at this point, anything helps. Uh, passing along the link, retweeting it, sharing my videos with others, sharing this video with others. We're going to need some help because I don't know when I'm getting my VA disability and we don't know how long this no overtime thing is actually going to last at my wife's job. So, uh, thanks in advance for any and all assistance and thanks to though thank you to those who have already helped a little and I'd like to welcome my new patrons Delcar and Liz to the family uh, all my patrons I consider friends and the ones that have been pretty active and vocal and uh, have been with me the longest I consider family at this point so here's hoping you go from friend to family and are able to stick around long enough to see that uh, that change so as always I'm the Dark Preacher this is FDB Revelation and I will see you guys in the next video and schedule resumes normal tomorrow which is Friday with Grimco already I have no clue what I'm doing but it's resuming tomorrow so bye